Hello, everyone. Welcome to 10 Minutes Astrology, the most simple way to learn astrology. I'm your host, Rod Chang, and today with us is Alejo. Alejo Lopez, today. Today with us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alejo, I like your teacher. It's a lot of flower. Let's fit into today's three minutes. I yes, exactly. That's why I'm wearing it. Yeah. Ah, that's why. Okay. Yes. I think uh, um, for last couple of weeks, we starting from the first house, second house is just like a very boring sequel. Bum, bum, bum. But I'm so looking forward to talk about the fifth house because when I beginning to learn astrology, all the book tell me the fifth house is a house of love. <laughs> house about your love life. So you love and romance. Yes, tell you about all your romance, about your boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, about your love, how many lovers you're going to have, how you face your love. And yet, is it only about the love, Alejo? No, it's not only about love, no. Mm -hmm. So some astrologers would say that this is the joy of Venus. So each planet has a place in the chart where they feel mm -hmm. joyful. And okay. you know, it doesn't really matter so much. I don't want to go into the joys of the planets, but mm -hmm. I think it's a nice way to understand the fifth house, if you remember that, because mm -hmm. all of you know what Aphrodite or Venus is about, love, love. and pleasure. Yes. Yeah. So the fifth house is the house of pleasure, is the house of things that make you feel pleasant. And that's why I think we associate it with love and romance and these kinds of things. Okay. but. That's mean. Okay, so it's not just about the love romance. No, of course. Also, yes. Also pleasure. So we yes. can add more things in. For yes. example, for example, maybe the things we love, the things we love, uh, uh, the things we like to do. So it's like our hobbit or see yes. our entertainment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, also, well, we part from. Yep. We also say it's the house of self-expression. So oh, it's the house. It, yeah. Yes. Please, please. Yeah. It's the house where we can express who we are, what we have inside, and we can put it out into the world. We would expect this house then to be prominent in people who are artists, for instance, because it's a house that has to do with expressing, expressing who you are, expressing what you have to share with the world. Okay, so very interesting. So it's not just about love and it, it could be the things we like, but it's also about expressing ourselves. But they, yes, um, because this I is mean... the most psychological term. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's, like, it, it's like showing the world who we are. Yes, showing who we who, Yeah, expressing what we have inside. I think it's funny you're pretending you don't know all of these, but you know all of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending. <laughs> uh, which is kind of a oh. game. It could be a fifth house thing. I'm playing a game. Yeah, fifth house thing. Okay. Yes, it is because I think I, li I like few things because when you go to the ancient, uh, especially in horary astrology, uh, each house can represent a certain career or, or certain a uh, place. And I was uh, interesting. I was uh, very uh, intriguing by, they say, um, pub. Pub yeah. is belong to fifth house. And I would say, why? Why a place we drink is belong to fifth house? And then we realized because you go to pub to have entertainment, and most of the pub has that entertainment function there. Yes, which, I, exactly. Yeah, which in my culture, we don't know about that because... Uh, uh, you know, I'm coming from the Asian culture, and the, the pop culture is the, doesn't exist there. Doesn't exist there. But or 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 being being a little bit more have a stigma. It's so uh, if anyone go to pub, they must be not good person. You know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a it's a being pop. It's being, being put in a little bit dark side. Yeah, mm, that was a, because because it's not our culture. So it's, it's quite interesting. But but it, it is, I was like, oh, so pop is the fifth house. So a lot of our career it related to entertainment and the performing are also in fifth house. Yes. Um, what, what I'm curious is about, uh, so we so-called uh, creativity. How does it relate to the self-expression? Well, I mean, to be creative, I mean, people who are creative, usually they put out their something that they have within themselves, right? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And I think also creativity, I think, which is another thing of the fifth house, implies mm -hmm. a certain kind of risk. Like you put it out there, you take a risk. Also, mm -hmm. when you talk about love and romance, it's express. it's like putting yourself out there. Like it's, it mm -hmm. expresses a kind of vulnerability. Perhaps you're taking a risk when you, when mm. you fall in love. We call it fall in love, right? Uh, so there is uh -huh. a sense of risk. And the creativity also is expressed in the fifth house with the idea of children. So the fifth mm -hmm. house, usually we look at the fifth house when we think about children. And again, having mm -hmm. a child is a risk. It means you're creating something, but uh -huh. it will have its own identity and its own ways of expression. So mm -hmm. in some parts it's expressing who the parents are, but in some parts it's a, its own individual. So and you never know what how he's going to be, right? Your son is going to be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like something because I like it one, uh, sometimes I hear some, some of my friends or some uh, artists, they are talking about their project. They are talking about what they are creating at this moment. They say, oh, this is my baby. Exactly. Yes, exactly. That is so interesting. That is so interesting. So to for make everyone understand a little bit more and more familiar with Chad, I think we should bring out another example for the next three episodes. All right. So, All right. Uh, and you suggest a very, very interesting, I mean, I, I, I am a big fan of this singer. And uh, so I, when you say that, I say, yes, let's, let's, let's use her chart. So today we use Amy Whitehouse. Today we use Amy Whitehouse. And then the chart you look at is the equal house, equal house. I don't usually use equal house, but uh, I let her choose it. And I mm, think it's, 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 bad it's boy. interesting. No, it is interesting. Oh, what? Equal house is not bad boy house. Equal house is good boy house, all right? It's a good boy and good girl's house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why you're a bad boy because you don't usually use them. You use equal house. That's, that's why I choose 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 the cauldron house because I'm a bad boy, all right? <laughs> okay. Now we can talk about that with, with my fifth house later. Okay. But let's see Amy Whitehouse is the fifth house. Wow. Very interesting fifth house for a singer, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite interesting. So we said, mm. let's kind of wrap, uh, wrap, uh, recap a little bit. We said it's about mm -hmm. creativity, self-expression, enjoyment, pleasure, perhaps lovers and romance, uh, children, mm. and yeah. activities that you enjoy that may put you in some kind of risk, but it's a, a risk you enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so. We're going to talk only about Saturn, right? Because Pluto, we haven't uh, discussed it yet, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about Saturn. You see, it, she has Saturn in the fifth house. And we said yes. Saturn brings some kind of restriction, limitation, some kind of hardship, mm -hmm. whatever he is, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So what does it mean? It means that for Amy Winehouse, probably to express herself requires a lot of work. We might mm. think that she, ha she felt judged when she was expressing the, herself, when she was trying to be mm -hmm. creative some way mm -hmm. and somehow mm -hmm. because he has a uh, Saturn there. Mm. I think Saturn is also about the professional and uh, mm -hmm. about uh, like, uh, like you say, hard working, but it's also about the professional. But this Saturn place in fifth house bring a little bit of, you know, dark and the sadness. But I always remember how, how her image never been on the, on the stage, never been bright. Never been flat mm, bright, yes. never been like a like a like a Brazilian samba or something. No, it's a little bit more, you know, jazz and dark and cold and sad. Yes, you know, yeah. And I mean, this Saturn is in Scorpio, so it's bringing, it's being inspired. What she has to express has to do mm -hmm. with difficulties and dark difficulties because it's a Scorpio and in, and emotionally mm -hmm. intense difficulties mm -hmm. and what it implies. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in her in her image and in her lyrics and also you mm -hmm. know i think I'm, I'm not such a big fan as you are but as far as i know i think she she was very insecure as a singer i think she was never really mm. like felt like i am the best and come on she was incredible she was and, like a goddess for me but i know yes her personal life and uh, even her you know performing somehow has been you know, have an impact from her personal life, especially from her love life. So mm -hmm. that is kind of, you know, it, it is quite challenging in her in her performing life, I think. But 
what I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm not really psychological things, but I want to guess is that is also part of her, her creation, her creativity. Yes. Yeah, those insecure, those uh, dark and those, uh, those uh, uh, challenge in her life is a part of uh, her, her, her creativity. So make her sing those songs been touch everyone's heart. They feel like, a, oh yes, she, she is singing out of the, the, the darkness or, or the sadness from out of my heart. So I think that is a resonance from us with her, you know, that is yeah. very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, um, I think this is her button, how to interpret her button. Normally we have to add it on the Pluto, but we haven't talked about that yet. So we will talk about that when we learn the Pluto, but mm -hmm. which is a little bit, I think, I guess it's a little bit, uh, what we, what we say is, it's echo in, with that Saturn in Scorpio. Yeah, a little bit because I agree. Pluto is a ruler of a Scorpio. So this is very interesting. Each one has that fifth house to express things we like. But the one thing we haven't mentioned yet is about the cut. That means okay. the, the starting point of this house here in the Libra, which also mm -hmm. describe a little bit, describe a little bit about, uh, about uh, what she like, what she mm -hmm. feel placed and what she, you know, what's her, <coughs> her way to entertain. I think the Libra is kind of a, a beautiful, beautiful and a peaceful side, beautiful and peaceful side. So yeah. this also suggests we start we step even with that Saturn in the fifth house, there's still a peaceful and uh, make peace with herself and uh, the uh, and uh, balance in her life and also the 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 the, the beautiful about relationship mm. in this fifth house. I didn't say her beautiful her relationship is beautiful, but that is a harmony. She, the, the, the harmony of things or balance she wants to bring in in her creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think when we read someone's fifth house, or let's say about either love life or creativity or self expression or, or what makes them happy, fifth house and the fifth house card planet in fifth house is extremely important and then um, don't miss out a thing. But I think we also can blend into Venus, Venus sign, Venus house, you know, <laughs> to build up together. No, no, we are not going to do that today. That would be, that would be like a chart interpretation, I think. <laughs> no, I mean, we could. She has, if you look at Venus, she has Venus in Leo in the third. Mm. So and I think that the, is, yeah. yeah. Tell me something. What were you going to say? Well, I think it's a, it's equal, right? The Libra sign, Libra sign in fifth house, expression with the beauty and harmony. Venus in Leo, but uh, this one is like uh, I express myself with confidence, and uh, with the you know with confidence. But I doubt it because this Venus is retrograde. We, it's a little bit too complicated. It's a little bit okay. too complicated. But but it's love, love of self, <laughs> love of creative creativity, and the confidence. But Somehow hold it back. Let me say that. Somehow okay. hold it back for okay. some reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think it, this chart is beautiful and there is quite a lot to say. But I think if we continue, well, beginner may not following, but uh, some. I think most of our our audience can follow it now. I think I have confidence because after these nearly eleven months following us. People are more and more familiar yeah, with it's astrology. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, today we're talking about the fifth house, and it's not just about love, but it's also about Alejo say self expression, and then the, the pleasure, and then creativity is also related to fifth house. And next week, not surprised because we're going by numbers. So next week, Alejo, we're going to <laughs> talk about the sixth house. Sixth house is a very interesting house because the different view between tradition and <laughs> uh, modern astrology is uh, so 
I shouldn't say divided, but it's very interesting. Make this house, discuss about this house. Very, very interesting. Okay, well, before we finish, Alejo, um, anything you are doing at this moment, uh, any event or the, um, the yeah. webinar? Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to be giving a webinar about hard aspects, hard aspects and the forging of diamonds uh, in Synchronicity University in November. So the wow. thing is, if you sign up, you sign yeah. up and you get five classes. You get my class and then other four classes. Um, okay. And they're broadcasted online. Just go to synchronicityuniversity.com and you're going to have all of the info. Lovely. Well, that is interesting topic. I like it. I will go to sign up too. <laughs> well, yes. okay. Thanks everyone. Thanks for listening and watch 10 Minutes Astrology. This house, uh, this week, this house. This week, we're talking <laughs> about... Why is so funny today? This week, we're talking about a fifth house. And we really hope that you enjoy this episode. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions and the feedback, please send us a message at, at AOA UK on Telegram or email us at aoainquiry at gmail.com. You can also join us on the Facebook group, 10 Minutes Astrology. We have more and more members and I will going to post, post more video and uh, some important information. Okay. So, and uh, next you can find me um, on the Instagram at AOAUKROD and you can find Alejo on his Instagram at Liminal Cosmos. Liminal Cosmos. And don't forget, next week we're going to talk about the sixth house. Stay in tune. Bye bye. Bye bye. You can see how pleased I am. <laughs>